This is a sweet speaks. It's morning in America. I just wanted to say that. I'm in New York City for a few days now. So, um, since yesterday, I'm in uh, the Big Apple, New York City. But I actually have an, a real announcement to make too. Uh, so I'd better do it now before you lose interest. Um, I will live stream tomorrow, Saturday, but not on my usual time, but two hours earlier. So let's see, that means 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it should mean 1 p.m. Central Time, uh, noon Mountain Time, and 11 uh, Pacific Time, 11 a.m. of course. And uh, let's see, that also means it should be 6 p.m. Western European time. No, that's not right. 7 p.m. Western European time. And 8 p.m. Central European time. 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Europe. Yeah, Eastern European time. And 10 p.m. Further Eastern European time. I might have to say this again before I and this this short uh, short clip uh, I'll just show you a little of a little of the surroundings so I never thought I actually get to go to New York City you know I always wanted to go here and um, and now I'm here and the, the building in front of me well it seems to there seems to be a lot of stuff in it you have the National Museum of the American Indian Free admission, so thank you very much to taxpayers of uh, New York City or New York State or whoever pays for this. If I'm not paying, someone else is, you know. And uh, we've got the US Bankruptcy Court. That should be interesting, really. Anyway, I need to head over somewhere else right now. So one thing I love about this country is how you put your flag more or less everywhere. Okay, outside this building, for some reason they put an Israeli flag too here. I don't know why, if there's some special event or something. I can tell it when I flew over to, to New York City, there, there was a group of uh, Orthodox Jews traveling. I don't know if they were all from Israel or if some of them were American, but you had a travel group of some Orthodox Jews. So, don't anybody get triggered now, I'm just telling you, that's what happened. And, uh, you know, Next to America, Israel is my favorite country. Uh, but anyway, I just want to show you some of the flags. And we'll slide over a little down Broadway, and you've got more flags. So, so this is great. It's wonderful. And as I said, my Saturday live stream will be two hours earlier than usual. So that means uh, 11 a.m. Pacific time, uh, noon mountain time 1 p.m. central time 2 p.m. eastern standard time 7 p.m. western european time 8 p.m. central european time 9 p.m. eastern european time and 10 p.m. further eastern european time i think i think i think i got it right to now so so now you should be, should be able to know when when to watch my live stream tomorrow please do that uh, and also remember to, to like and share my videos and to send some support that's all greatly appreciated I can't do this without you and I'm very happy to be in New York City right now okay go this is the one world trade tower and it replaces where the twin towers once stood okay and uh, I thought there was something special about this place because these skyscrapers showed up out of nowhere. But I'm being informed that... There's a lot that of destruction here and they had to rebuild a lot. So. I've been informed that happens everywhere in downtown New York. Now this is, this is something very good for So I guess that's, that's what that's about. Yeah. So I'm at uh, St. Paul's Chapel with a lot of old graves. And it's apparently an old Episcopal church. 
I'm not sure. I, I assume the church has been here since at least uh, the 18th century sometime, given the dates on the graves. So I just had uh, brunch, I suppose, at Nongwa Tea Parlor in Chinatown. And uh, well, they got tea, but they got food too. So, so it's wonderful. They even have cold beer, but I thought 11.30 a.m. was a little too early for that. So, just, just a meal and some tea. That's wonderful. So you should try it. This is a sign in Chinatown. I think they knew what they were talking about. And I have no further comments to that. So we're looking at the Brooklyn Bridge here. And uh, I guess I have to go to this city again because there's so much work. Yeah. Um, How long are you staying? Four days, five days. So walking through New York, we walked right into a protest. Could, could you please tell me what the protest is about? We are against Mayor de Blasio's proposal of Bill A10427. It's proposing to give you quotas and get rid of the most uh, fair test. And uh, the, the fairness is not going to exist if he get rid of the test. So he says that everyone should get admitted, or what, what is it about? Sorry? He wants a quota of how many people he's going to get. Seven of the top middle school students across the state automatically admitted to the specialized high school. But we understand we have a problem from K to 8. So not every middle school has the same academic standard. Right. So that's a uh, false fairness. I see. That, uh, we believe that he's just trying to get his uh, votes from the minorities, which doesn't include Asian. That's a good point. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So, <clears throat> apparently, I'm in New York City, the Big Apple, and, uh, you know, I thought, actually, this city, my grandfather, he used to play New York, New York by Frank Sinatra. He loved Frank Sinatra and he loved that song, but he never got to go, got to go here, and he traveled around Europe. But he never traveled outside Europe. And since I was a kid, I was reading Marvel comics, so of course I wanted to go to New York. But I never thought I actually would. Well, now, now I'm here. So, this was just some things that happened during my first, uh, first full day in New York City. Well, that day hasn't ended yet, but this is my first full day in New York City. I arrived here yesterday. And today I spent, spent my first day when I woke up in New York City. Uh, including that uh, protest that I just walked right into and got to interview that nice la lady. So if you didn't get the reference, what they were protesting is how New York Mayor Bill de Blasio wants to abolish standards uh, for getting into elite schools. And instead he, he wants uh, ethnic quotas or racial quotas or something like that. Which this woman, of course, was opposed to, and I'm opposed to it too, anyway. Uh, so that's what was going on there. And I just walked into that protest after having been in, in, in Chinatown. So thank God for, for just bringing me right into that protest, just heading me right into the news. So I'm happy that I was able to talk to her and to document some of what was going on there. So that's great. Uh, so as I said, uh, the Saturday live stream will be two uh, hours earlier than usual. So, well, it will be on 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I'm at right now. And uh, for people in Scandinavia, that means 8 p.m., 8 in the evening. And the rest of you, I think you can figure it out. And I think you heard it by now. I think you got the message now. So that's really all I have to say right now. Oh yeah, and of course, thank f a big thank you to everyone who supports my work. And uh, if you like what I do, if you think what I do is important, Please consider sending me a dollar or two, or ten, or a hundred. That's always greatly appreciated. So, until next time, have a nice day, and God bless.